This particular air rifle is called a Diana and the model is an AR-8. It comes in 22 caliber and a 177 caliber. Now, this particular rifle is a 22 caliber. Diana has been making air rifles for over a hundred years and this particular model is what I call a Magnum Super Springer. Let me tell you about it. I first saw this rifle in action in the Michigan Northwoods where it was cold and it still performed flawlessly. After seeing firsthand how effective it was in cold weather, I decided to give it a try on rabbits and squirrels, and I have to tell you, I'm extremely impressed. The Diana AR-8 features a brake barrel action, and when you cock it, you'll tell instantly that it takes more force than a standard brake barrel air gun. The reason is, it features what they call the N-Tech gas piston. The unit contains gas under pressure that powers the piston when the gun is fired. That compressed gas never leaves the gun and it doesn't push the pellet out the muzzle. The pellet is pushed out by the air that is compressed by the piston. Again, this is a gas spring and the advantage a gas spring has over a coil spring is that you can leave it cocked for hours without degrading the power. Gas springs don't vibrate like most coil springs do. With this rifle, you never want to dry fire it because it'll cause the piston to slam. The overall weight of the AR-8 is around seven pounds. This particular rifle is a single shot air rifle and it has a composite ambidextrous stock that feels good to both the right-handed and left-handed shooter. You'll also notice it has a slight textured finish that's gonna help you with the grip. It has a scope rail on top and I've topped it off with a Mantis 3 by 9 by 40 scope. The safety is located on the rear of the gun in a nice position and when you cock it, it automatically goes on safe. You push it forward to fire. The trigger on this rifle is a two-stage trigger and it's adjustable right out of the box. It comes at about two pounds, but you can adjust it lighter if you'd like. And this trigger is about as good a trigger as you're gonna ever find in a brake barrel air rifle. Now the finish on the Diana AR-8 is actually a more of a flat finish rather than a glossy finish and I really like it. And here's a piece of advice for you, no matter what rifle you shoot, before you store it long term, make sure and rub it down with a light coating of oil to prevent rusting. The rifle has your basic adjustable sights both front and rear. The front, you adjust the front sight by spinning this wheel, while the rear sight, you'll need an Allen wrench to adjust for your windage. The pellet that I'm shooting is called the Terminator. Again, this is a 22 caliber pellet, and it does one heck of a job on squirrels and rabbits to knock them down quickly and ethically. All right, let's go ahead and shoot this rifle and see how it works. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot a 10 shot group. I took this and I just put it together out of the box. I have not shot it yet, so we're gonna see how close it is. Okay, it looks like I've got to bring it up just a little bit. A little tip for you. Make sure and have a good rest like this and hold your rifle stationary. When you take that first shot, like I just did, and you can see that it's low, what you want to do is you want to adjust your crosshairs to the bullet hole. And once you do that, it should be dead on. Now let's go ahead and take a second shot. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect.
The Diana AR-8 is one heck of an air rifle, and if you're an air gun hunter, I think you're going to really be impressed at the job that it does on both squirrels and rabbits. If you'd like more information on this rifle, you can log on to PyramidAir.com where they sell everything when it comes to the air gunner needs. I'm Keith Warren. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure and share it with your friends, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.